Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School drawing tutorial, I'll show you one way to draw some shipping containers using one point perspective. A basic introduction to one point perspective for beginners. Start by drawing a horizontal line across the base of your page, just a soft guideline. Next, draw another horizontal line just below the first one. On the first line that we drew, the horizon line, we can draw a dot in the centre for the single vanishing point we shall use for the rest of the drawing. All the parallel lines of the receding sides of the shipping containers will go towards this one vanishing point. Next, on the left, draw a rectangle slightly taller than it is wide and use the bottom horizontal line as the baseline for this rectangle. This is the front of our first container. Now we can repeat this on the right hand side of the drawing, another rectangle for another front of a shipping container, using the bottom horizontal line as a baseline so that these two shipping containers are the same distance from us. Next, we could add some more rectangles, all the same size. Place them wherever you want, just not in the middle of the drawing. You could stack them high. Now we are ready to use the vanishing point for the receding lines for the corners of the rectangles we have drawn. All of these receding guidelines, just soft lines, will go straight towards the single vanishing point on the horizon line in the middle of the drawing. The lines below the horizon line will go downwards because we're looking down upon the things below the horizon line and the lines above the horizon line will go upwards because we're looking up. So basically the horizon line represents the height of the eye of the viewer who's looking at the image. Next, using some vertical lines, we can choose how long each of these container boxes are. They need to be not too long and not too short. Remember, it's a very, very long way all the way to the horizon from where we're looking. Then we can start to darken the lines that we need for the drawing. Because we used a continuous baseline for the lower level of the rectangles that we drew at the beginning of the drawing, they are all the same distance away from us, the viewer of the image. That means that the front of the containers will recede the same amount if they're the same depth. And so we can draw a horizontal guideline from the back of the containers on the left and use it as a guide for the length of the containers on the right. If you'd like to learn more about drawing and drawing in perspective, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, where you'll find details of all of my drawing courses for beginners. Next, we could draw a container forklift truck in the center of the drawing, but quite far away, so quite small in size from where we're looking. For this forklift truck container, just draw two small wheels and a few basic shapes seen from the side. Now for this forklift truck, we can draw a long vertical arm going quite high up into the air. And then once we've got that, we could draw a hydraulic piston at an angle, a diagonal line, joining the truck to the vertical arm of the truck. Then on the right, below the top of the vertical arm, draw the front of a container, but much smaller than the other containers that we've drawn so far, because it's further away from us. Next, we can use the vanishing point, which is now behind the truck in my drawing, to work out the perspective lines for this new container, which is up in the air.
For your drawing, you could add more containers in the distance. Remember that as the containers get further away from us, the viewer of the image, they will be smaller in size. Try to make each of the rectangles of the fronts of the containers the same proportion as the others. And the proportion is slightly taller than they are wide. As you draw along, you could darken the lines that you need and erase the guidelines that you no longer need. In this simple drawing, there are in rectangles that we're making into cuboids and a truck. And each of these shipping containers is basically the same shape as all the others. We're just drawing them from different angles and different positions in the drawing. Next, erase some more guidelines that you no longer need. When you are ready, you could draw the details for the front of each of these shipping containers. Start by drawing a central vertical line to create two doors for each of the shipping containers. Either side of this vertical central line, draw two more vertical lines close to, and these can be the locking bars on each side. Next, draw the door locking handles, again on each side of the center line. Then we could draw an inner line around the rectangle, quite close to the original rectangle that we drew. We could draw a few horizontal dividing lines for each of the doors, the same on each side. I find for these sort of details in a drawing, it's good to think them through and to simplify them so that they don't look too complex, but also so that we can repeat them with ease within the drawing when needed. Along the sides of each of the shipping containers, I'll draw a series of vertical lines, but I'll draw two receding lines, one at the top and one at the bottom first, which go towards our vanishing point in the centre of our drawing. And these vertical lines will get closer as they recede from us and go towards the vanishing point. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle and Art School, please click the subscribe button and bell to stay up to date with all the drawing content that I make. Please like and comment if you found this drawing useful for your own drawings and thank you very much for your support. If you'd like more details on my online drawing courses for beginners, please just visit my website, circlelineartschool.com. Thank you for watching. Next up, click on one of my other drawing tutorials.